Hey guys, this is KJ48, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is part 16. Um, I have a couple of sh uh, shout outs people posted in my comments that were very nice. Um, Assess Nopo has been awesome, uh, asking some questions, giving me some tips, pretty cool. Uh, there's a guy called, um, I'm not sure if I'm saying this name right, I Love Aginas. It looks like I low vaginas i'm not sure i say that name he but he gave me a bunch of nice tips so i had to mention him um and izzy bunny uh give me a lot of good tips um i am going to take this time right now to mention notch's blog i got it up on my other computer now so i can like talk about this stuff um apparently uh october 31st there's going to be a big update he's talking about um it's called Minecraft Halloween Update <laughs> with pumpkins. Um, there's going to be a new realm to explore he's talking about. A brand new hell, hell world for fast travel. Portal in, move 10 meters, portal out, and you're hundreds of meters away. I'm not quite sure what that means, but it, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, then fight scary new monsters. Actually different this time around. Uh, experience scarier depths. The deeper you are, the I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to pause the game because... I know I should be playing, but I gotta read this stuff to you. I didn't start my timer, of course, either. It's just like me. I'm sorry. Give me one, one second so I can start my, my stopwatch. Probably about two minutes in. So, we'll stop at uh, 12 minutes. Anyway, um, yeah. So, experience scarier depths. The deeper you are, the brighter it has to be to stay safe. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I got. I'm freaking. I'm psyched about this. Um. Be scared of the dark. Torches will die after a while. Use flint and steel to regenerate or place lanterns that last forever. Uh, I heard that somewhere else. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos. That sounds great. Um, catch scary fish. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, scare other players online. I don't care about online because I don't play it. Uh, but if for people who do care, it says less bugs and more implemented features. That sounds great. Uh, Carve scary jack-o'-lanterns. Pumpkins can also be worn as totally useless helmets. That is friggin' awesome. Uh, keep track of the scary time. A craftable watch lets you know when it's safe to emerge from the caves. I just mentioned that a few a few videos ago. Like, that's friggin' awesome. Guys, read my mind. Um, yeah, so that's the update he's talking about. Uh, I'm psyched, man. The guy's hard at work. I love it. Uh, it's great. Um, okay, I did my shout-outs, um, talked about Notch, and now I'm going to... I need, I need a designated crafting area, and I need it now. I need it to be done. Um, so I am going to spend this time today and work on this crafting area in the back. Um, also, one thing I'm going to do, I'm probably not going to do it now, so if you guys comment quickly enough, um, if you don't like this idea or whatever, I think this is going to be a great idea. I am going to knock out this wall on this side, and this wall on this side. And these are going to be two large rooms instead of four smaller rooms. Then I'm going to put wood here. And I'm going to I'm going to make this a double door to get into this larger room. It's going to be awesome. This room is going to be a library with couches. And uh, I don't know what else. I'm going, to, I'm going to go online and see if I can steal some smart people's ideas. I'm not, I'm not uh, smart enough to come up with this stuff. I'm not creative enough. So, you know, we'll see what I can get from it. And this side is, oh God, I knew, I thought I knew, the, oh, this is going to be an art gallery. I'm going to take all, down all these pictures and put it in this side. It's going to be an art gallery. So, you know, some culture, some nice culture. Library, art gallery, you yeah, know, it's pretty cool. Um, also, I need to mention a couple things about uh, the quality of the videos. My videos are uh, pretty good quality, but they have the black, the black lines on the sides um, on YouTube the black bars, uh, which is very frustrating. I did some research. I figured out what the problem is. My aspect ratio of my monitor is 16 by 6. I guess you can't hear that, but that's a zombie. Uh, my aspect ratio of my monitor is 16 by 10, um, which means 16 horizontal, 10, uh, 10 vertical. It's not quite widescreen. I mean, I guess it is technically widescreen, but it's not as widescreen as 16 by 9, which is like the one that most people use or, you know, the one I like more. I like real widescreen. Um, and YouTube and Fraps doesn't like doesn't like to work with widescreen very much, uh, so that's why I get the black bars on the sides, and that's not acceptable. Um, my monitor is about three years old. I got some Christmas money coming in. I think I'm gonna go get a new monitor next week. So hopefully next week my videos will start being widescreen, like for real. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, about the about the audio quality, I uh, stepped on my mic today, you know, by accident, and uh, ripped the mic out of my uh, computer, and 
totally trashed it. I don't, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta clean my room, I guess. You know, trash all over. But anyway, uh, so I dig out this old crappy mic. That's n this is not connected to my headset. It's just a standalone mic. It's a little lower in volume. Um, there's not much I can do about that. Um, you know, just turn your speakers up. It shouldn't be a really big deal. But I did go on Amazon today and order a new mic headset. Um, so I should have that in about a week or two. All right. Uh, I'm going to fill this up just to make it easier to decide what I want to do here. Over here is going to be a garage. Um, you know, I'm thinking about making another skylight here. I, I don't like running back, you know, to find out if it's daytime out. Um, so maybe I'll make another skylight there eventually. We all know how much, uh, how much success I had making my last skylight. That was great, right? Lost, got blew up by a creeper off a mountain and then lost my bow. You know, it's just stupid. My roommate Mark was watching me play. And uh, he's like, I think I see your bow right there. And I ran right by it. And I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. So, eh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, I'm not sure. The, over here is going to be a hallway that's going to... I just put that down. I'm such an idiot. Um, over here is going to be a hallway that is going to lead to a garage. And I'm going to have a garage for my mine cart. And uh, my mine cart will take me from here to my, to my mine over there. Um, it'll be pretty sweet. Um, the other way, I don't know what the other way is going to take me to, but I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore this area. Hopefully I can find... My, my roommate, um, in his game, got these really cool mine systems, and he did a lot with them. They look spectacular. I think I'm going to log on his account on this computer maybe next this week and uh, show you guys what he's done. He's done a great job, and he's not usually good at that kind of stuff, so I was really impressed. Um, so, yeah, he got really cool mine systems. I'd like to find some mines in here that I could, like, exploit, you know, see what I can do with them. I also got some uh, people, uh, some good suggestions. Um, I'm going to uh, mine on camera the whole time, even even during the boring mine parts. Um, you never know when a, when something crazy is going to happen. And like I said, I like to be spontaneous. Um, YouTube's easy enough to skip if you really don't you know want to take the time to watch it. You can always skip it; it's not a big deal. But I will not be on camera while I'm organizing inventory. Um, who told me? A, about that. I think that was Izzy Bunny. I'm sorry if it was somebody else, but Izzy, I think it was Izzy Bunny, you know, give me a suggestion that, uh, deal with my inventory off, off, off fraps, and that, that's a great idea. I'm, I, you know, I'm definitely gonna do it. Uh, my plan is, I don't have much time today, because I have to go in, a, in an hour or two, but my plan is today to, uh, I want to get my crafting room ready, um, organized and set up. And then when that's all done, I will organize everything off camera. And then I will, you know, show you what I've done. And uh, I'm going to need, I think, about six or seven crafting boxes to store my stuff. I'm really close to the edge. I think it's daytime out there. Um, I'm going to need about six or seven crafting uh, boxes to hold my, my stuff. I'm going to have one for tools, one for weapons and armor, one for raw resources, one for craftable resources, one for building materials, you know, building houses and stuff, steps, uh, ladders, stuff like that, and then one for miscellaneous buckets, stuff like, I don't know, whatever. Oh, and one for food. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to write this down at work tomorrow, so I'm going to plan this out. Because I want to know exactly how many I'm going to need, because when I make my crafting area, I want it to be exactly the right size to hold the items that I want to have. Almost positive it's daytime out, so I'm gonna keep digging here. I can't believe those updates. Not just talking about man. The guys, the guys, just great. I mean, you know what, man? That's just awesome. That stuff sounds so cool, and I like the direction it's going in. In a couple of those ways like he's talking about making the monsters harder i mean he didn't get into specifics or anything but the fact that he is talking about that acknowledges that that's a concern for him and he wants to deal with it which is just great how far is this going to go you know what it doesn't matter this is gonna, i'm just gonna keep going until i get out of here i'm really close actually you know what i probably should dig up yes all right this is gonna be sloppy for a minute but i have i have a plan Hopefully there's no creepers dropping on my head. Alright, 
that was a that was my phone going off. It might have actually been a YouTube comment. Uh, all right. You know what? This tree's gotta go. This stupid thing's gotta go. About three minutes. Uh, four minutes left. I'll probably do three minutes just to make sure. I'm always paranoid. Now these leaves will drop automatically, eventually. But I want to clear some of them out. See, they're dropping right now. You know what? Let me, uh, let me not waste my. Time. I know I said before. You know what? The thing is, the th I know I said before that I don't like when people don't use tools for stuff. But the fact of the matter is, this clears it away just as fast. The people who use their their fists to punch dirt, it, cle it clears away slower. That's why it bothers me. Uh, I felt I had to justify that. Again. Alright, so that's right there. That's got to come up big time. Um, go this way. Hmm, I'm seeing a vision. Uh, uh, I got a vision in my head. I don't know if it's... it's gonna, it's got to come up big time. It's got to it's gotta come out here. Yeah, it's got to come out here. So... Yeah. Um, oh, that's not, actually not as much room as... No, that, that's plenty of room. I can do that. Um, this in. Um, you know what? I need to... The first thing I need to do is, is build the, the, the actual plane that it's going to be on. Stuff gets confusing, but it, if you just think about it logically, it starts to like make sense. But it, I don't know; it's hard to explain. It's very um, this game touches a part of your brain and creativity that no other game touches, or maybe not no other game, but a lot of other games don't touch. And that's what I love about it, because I'm not a very creative person. You know, um, I use the, I use the uh, I use the left side of my brain. I'm a righty, and uh, we're not we're not usually very creative. Us righties. I wish, you know, I was a lefty, but uh, I'm, I'm not very creative. Uh, right, this is going to be the base. So far, just to make this simple for now, I'll just throw this stuff down. All right, you know what? I'm going to cut it off here because I'm at 11 minutes on there now. I, I might be around 12 or 13 minutes by now. So I'm going to kill this cow. And I will be right back. <laughs>